There is a growing rent crisis in New Brunswick that is being driven by the financialization of the province's housing market, according to a new report released Monday by the New Brunswick Coalition for Tenants' Rights. The report shows that the number of affordable units renting for under $750 a month decreased by 25% over a five-year period, while units in the $1,200 to $1,499 range doubled, and those over $1,500 tripled. Matthew Hayes, a spokesperson for the coalition, says the numbers show that the government's approach to housing won't cut it and calls for new rules to address the issue. The report also reveals that there are 25,585 renter households in New Brunswick that earn under $30,000 a year, 84% of which are living in unaffordable housing. The rapid increase in rental prices is being caused by investors and large retail investment firms buying up rental housing, often driving up prices in the process. The province has hoped that increasing supply can drive down rents, but Hayes says the types of housing being created are not helping those who earn lower incomes. In order to replace all the 8,600 affordable units lost over the past five years, it would cost up to $2.6 billion, according to the report. ACORN, a group dedicated to tenants' rights, has called on the province to reinstitute a rent cap to help protect the affordable units they already have. The rent cap was set at 3.8% in 2022, but was rescinded by the Minister of Housing, Jill Green, citing concern that it was deterring development. Instead, tenants can apply to the Residential Tenancies Tribunal if they feel a rent is too high, spreading payments over three years. But data from the Canadian Government's Statistics Canada Department shows that the permits for multiple dwelling buildings have been slightly up from 2019 to 2023. The total number of units covered by those permits are down slightly, but the number of apartment and other unit type housing starts in the first three quarters of 2023 were up from 2023 as a whole. Though the province announced last year that they would spend $100 million over the next few years to build 380 new public housing units, groups like ACORN are still calling for more to be done. Nicola Taylor, ACORN's provincial coordinator said, Affordable housing starts with rent control. So you can build all the affordable housing you want, which is great, we're not against that but you need rent control in order to stabilize that. The rent crisis in New Brunswick is a systemic issue, and in order to properly address it, rent control, subsidies, and other local policies need to be in place to protect the affordable units that have already been built, as well to provide homes for those that are unable to afford the current market rate. We must work together to make sure everyone in New Brunswick has access to safe, affordable housing.